If you want to be good at playing soccer, can you not practice soccer to get good at it? Chances are no. So if you don't research it, if you don't practice it, how can you get good at it? Let's say that you want to be good at fixing cars. If you don't attempt to research or attempt to work on a car, how can you get good at it? It is impossible. When people say to me, Kevin, I can't stop sinning, or I am waiting for God to get me to stop sinning, how is that going to happen? Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? Are you fasting? No. If you are not attempting to do those things, how can you stop sinning? The lack of research, the lack of reading your Bible, the lack of praying, the lack of doing things that pertains to God, this is the reason why you are sinning. How can you expect to stop sinning when you are not doing anything that pertains to God. And everything else, you have to practice to get good at it. But you believe that by not doing things that you need to do that pertains to God, you believe that by not doing it, that you can automatically stop sinning which makes no sense. Kevin, I believe that I am going to hell. Why would you even want to settle at that? Why? Attempt to do what is right. Attempt to read your Bible. Attempt to pray. I know that those things those things seem very simple, seem very insignificant. When you read your Bible, when you pray, when you do things that pertain to God, it does something to you in the inside. I can't explain it in words. You can't stop sinning by not doing things that pertain to God. You can't do it on your own. This is why you need to connect yourself to God. So trying to not sin, that is not going to cut it. The way to stop sinning is by reading your Bible, by praying, by fasting, no eating or drinking anything for a particular time period. Going to church, researching about God, doing all these things are going to help you stop sinning. By ignoring those things, you are going to continue to sin. Well, Kevin, I am just waiting for God to get me to stop. That doesn't make any sense when you are not doing what you need to do. So many people are so concerned about earthly things. Kevin, I have to lift weights. Kevin, I am worried about the food I eat. 
I want to make sure that I am fit in everything else like that. That is fine. But when it pertains to God, you want or you say that you want to stop sinning, but you are not attempting to do what it takes to get to that place. You can't just automatically stop sinning. You have to do some things to get to that point. All of these earthly things, you are willing to do what it takes to get to the point that you need to be, but when it pertains, but when it pertains to God, you believe that you are going to get to the finished point like that. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. If you are not reading your Bible, praying, fasting, which everyone needs to do is fast. If you are not doing these things, of course, you are going to stay into sin. You can't just jump from one all the way to 10. You have to take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So many people are into fitness. Let's say that you want to lose 20 pounds. Can you lose 20 pounds by not eating right? No. Can you lose 20 pounds by drinking soda <laughs> every day? No. So to get to that end point, there are things that you have to do to be able to lose that 20 pounds. Okay. In order to stop sinning, there are steps that you have to take to get to that finished product. You can't just try to stop sinning without taking the steps. <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. To get the things you want, you take the steps to get to what your goal is. But for some reason, you believe that you can stop sinning by not taking the steps. It is the steps that you have to take to stop sinning. You can't just stop sinning without taking the steps. So when I tell you to not do this, don't look at movies that are about this and that, when I am telling you these things, I am telling you the steps that it takes to get to not sinning. But you say, Kevin, you are being so strict and I can do what I like, but you stay in sin. You have to follow the steps. If you don't, if you don't follow the steps, you are going to stay in sin. If you don't follow the steps, you are going to stay in sin. There is no surprise. Do you believe that God is just going to snap his fingers and take away all the hardships, all the tests, all the temptations and let you live carefree in this world. Of course not. Everyone who lives for God have to follow the steps to not sin. I have to do it every day. 
Do I want to pray and do all these things every day? Of course not. But I know that I need God every day. So I have to follow certain steps every day to stay on the same route or route to God. I know if I began to do all this dumb stuff, I know that I am going to go back into sin if I don't follow the steps. So I have to sacrifice things that I want to do. I have to sacrifice them in order to live for God. It is worth it. You have to follow the steps. You, you can't stop sinning by saying to yourself, I am going to stop sinning. I am not going to have sex before a marriage. I am not going to masturbate anymore. I am not going to do these foolish things. It doesn't work that way. You have to follow the steps. I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.